During lockdown, a group of community rail officers from across the country created a national competition for teenagers. We were concerned about the rising levels of trespass on the railway. This is the story, what we did, and what happened. Throughout the past couple of years, Community Rail Lancashire have hosted education network meetings for community rail officers in the north to upskill themselves in matters of education in rail. When the lockdown struck, I thought it would be really good to continue these meetings but have them online. So we had fortnightly Zoom meetings with a range of officers from the north and then around the country. We were contacted by Network Rail who were really concerned about the spike in trespassing incidences during lockdown. So we invited a community safety manager to one of our meetings to discuss what we could do. And that's how we come up with the idea of Backtrack. So we set aside a small working party with officers from different CRPs to work on that competition and it's been a great success and really shown that actually CRPs from across the country can work together on projects. The project name came about through one of our education network meetings. Together we looked at different options, starting points such as trespass, railway, and then we looked at the words that were associated with filming and music. And together we agreed that we would go with Backtrack. Then we started to put together a palette and a logo. I think it works really well together and we'd be able to create some graphics that would be really quite eye-catching. We had to be careful when we were considering using social media and encouraging young people to use social media to share their competition entries. We also wanted to make sure that the competition was inclusive for everybody. We didn't want to just have videos because not everybody's got access to a mobile phone with a camera on it. Hence we also had entries for storyboard writing, uh, script writing and for songs as well. To launch the project we put together a short animation. We hope you enjoy watching it now. Despite lockdown, unfortunately, people have been risking their lives trespassing on our railways. It's not safe. In fact, it is a seriously dangerous thing to do. You could get killed or receive life-changing injuries. It's not worth it. We need your help to create and share a simple but powerful message to make young people aware of these dangers and ultimately to save lives. There are a few different ways you can do this and we have lots of great prizes. So whether you like to make videos, to draw, to write songs or create drama scripts, this is for you. Oh, and we have the prize for the most shared post as well. Remember to use the hashtag. Stay off the tracks. Your entry must be made at home and your garden is also allowed. Or if you're in a school or a college, that's okay too. If you include anywhere else, you will be disqualified. The deadline is Wednesday 30th of September this year, 2020. We need you to send us your creative work and entry form and media consent form using wetransfer.com. If you've not used it before, it's pretty simple. Add your files, email backtrack.competition at gmail.com. Send us a little message and hit transfer when it turns blue. Take a look at our website for all the information, some important rules and useful tips on how to create storyboards and animations. Enter for the chance to win a GoPro Hero 8 bundle. We've got six to give away. Have fun, stay safe, good luck. Using social media for this competition was a really important way to connect to young people and spread the message. We created a specific backtrack competition, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, as well as having monthly prizes and a special prize for our super sharer. We sent out press releases and got slots on the radio as well. And I did a Google search of Backtrack just to see where it was showing up and which websites were coming through with having content on. So we've got mentions or like pages that people have built. LiveLearnUK.com. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the online. Ooh. Yeah, that's a really good one. So obviously, yeah. it was really important for us to make sure that this competition had clear links to curriculum. As a result of this competition, we now have lots of videos, songs, storyboards and scripts that we can use in our train safety workshops in schools. What better way for young people to learn about the dangers of trespassing than hearing the message from other young people? 
Let's see some entries. As I'm sure you have been told before, playing on the railway lines is extremely dangerous and life-changing, but have you ever thought about it in this way? Imagine your mum or dad or someone you know is a train driver. Every day they could be affected by people messing about on the railway line. This is extremely dangerous and could affect a train driver's life forever as they may never be able to return to the job and the effects can be life changing. Today's driver is called Anne. She is driving towards the next station. She can see a person sat on the edge of a bridge. This is not only extremely dangerous as you could fall off unintentionally, but for the driver it could cause so many thoughts to go through her head which might cause her to lose concentration and forget what she is supposed to be doing, like stopping the train in the correct place. Try to worry about items being thrown at trains. Did you know, doing this could lead to a life in prison. As she is coming into the platform, there is a person stood on the opposite tracks. Standing on the tracks is incredibly unsafe as certain lines of electric run through them, and the electric is never turned off. Trespassing on the railway has a fine of up to £1,000. Drivers dread seeing people on the line, as we have no idea what we're going to do, and you could end up being electrocuted or hit by a train. Now the train is passing the platform. A person is sat on the edge of a platform and someone else is stood over the yellow line. This isn't only really silly, but the yellow line means trains can pass the station up to speeds of 125 miles per hour. Trains can't stop quickly. It can take up to 20 football pitches for a train to stop, so it could easily harm you. As she's about to clear the station, another person is stood beyond the sign that says you must not cross this point. Again, this could lead to a fine and also cause station staff and the driver to be alarmed. All of the above events can really cause the driver to panic. Drivers have a very safety critical job, keeping everyone safe. Before you think about doing anything silly on the railways, think about the implications it could have on you and other people. Somewhere down the line, there's a train coming thundering. Somewhere down the line, there's someone walking stumbling down the track. Oh, you can't look back when you're gone. There's dangers on the train track, just like every other place. There's dangers on the train track, they might just not be in your face. Keep a safe distance when you're waiting for a train. Behind the yellow lines, it's just fine, not any other way. There's 25,000 volts rushing through the cables there. The red circle with a line through it means no entry there. Stop and think you do. You don't want to think it's right. It might. Hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Please keep following Backtrack on social media and look out for the competition in 2021. We'll be back. Thank you. There's someone walking stumbling down the track. Oh, you can look back when you're gone. Trespassing on the railways is really, really wrong. And that is why I wrote this song. Stop and think you do whatever you think is right. It might just be saving your life. Oh, your life.